Hey YouTube, it's Maddie, the Emptiness Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. If it's your first time, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, and of course, a thumbs up is always appreciated. So today I have a little tidy time video, and it's just going to be a quick little time to put away a few things that have been hanging around my workstation. So if you've got something that just needs a little bit of putting away, organization, tidying up, put me on pause. Go ahead and grab it and tidy along with me. When you get back, you'll see what I'm going to show you is simple. And of course, we all need to do it time and again, depending on what your style is. So here I have a bunch of completed cards and they have their envelopes and they are in their storage um, cellophane and they just need to be put away. So my goal for today, I'm going to put this aside and I want to bring the rest of these cards that have been hanging out on my workspace and get them to the same stage as those were. And then later on, I will put them away in the space where I keep my um, completed cards. And I'll show that in a different video. So I have two little piles here. Um, each are uh, mostly completed or completed cards, um, but they don't have an envelope with them. And they are not stored in the storage cellophane. So the goal for me today is to bring these to the same level as these so that when it's time to put them all away, um, they will all be ready to go. And I'll go ahead and show that in another video if you want to tidy with me again on a different day. Okay, so what's the difference between these two piles? I believe, and I'll check, we'll check together, these are absolutely complete and ready for an envelope. And these may need a little something before they are ready. So a card like this, one of the things that um, I may or may not have done on a card that's on a black card base is add the white. So the white is there and the last thing is uh, my signature. My signature is there. So this pile, all complete, they all just need um, an envelope and then to be put in a cellophane. These, however, I think pretty much are almost done. This is a white one, so it doesn't need anything in the center, but has no signature. And I think that is true for all of these. So I'm going to add my signatures to these and then I will put all of these um give them each a uh, an envelope and then put them in a cellophane so these are where i keep my signatures i make them myself off the computer i run it through the xyron and they are not so fancy schmancy someday i hope to just get a quick little stamp i don't even know if i had i'm going to have enough of these but uh let's do what we can so I will um, flip them over and make sure which way the signature will go. That one will go here. So uh, any of you who have used a Xyron will, looks like this one ripped. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna leave that one go. Maybe in the case of an emergency, I'll do some repair work, but so I'll take the signature and I'll make sure it's in the right place, add it to my card. And there it's done. So not much has to be done. I'm gonna show you the cards as I complete them and move them along into the next space. So let me see how does this card go. There it is, so the signature goes here. And just simple, 
but they get piled up and I don't like to put them away until they are absolutely complete. So it just takes a little bit of time to get everything in order and ready to be used. And uh, at a time where you're in your craft room, maybe you're not feeling, maybe I'm not feeling super crafty, but I want to be in my craft room and I want to get a little something done. Um, I will go ahead and do a little organization piece like this. Maybe you're the kind of person, here's the card, here's the signature. So maybe you're the kind of person who does this right away. I wish I were, but that's not me. So here we are with a stack of almost finished cards waiting to be put away properly. So I'm going to give you like a little peek at each of the cards before I put them away. If you're interested in that, um, you'll get a chance to see. And if not, just uh, speed it up and move on to the next. Or maybe you're just tidying along with me and listening in the background, and that's fine too. That's what I like to do. Um, if I'm not filming and visiting with everybody, I like to have something playing in the background so that um, while I'm tidying, I can listen to somebody who is crafting. Maybe it gives me some nice ideas. Um, maybe uh, I uh, hear something and I stop and look back to see what they're doing so that I can do it at a later time also. But uh, that's the way I like to do things in my craft room. I'm either filming or I'm listening with some, uh, or I'm crafting and listening to something in the background. Either way, um, you do what suits you. And of course, one thing suits me one day, a different thing suits me a different day. So just uh, do what works for you at the time. These are not sticking. I have to use glue with those. So I'll just go to a different one. I guess I was at the end of the roll for the Xyron on this one. I'll run it through with a proper adhesive or I'll just glue it on. Um, doesn't much matter. But uh, this is the last one. So of course I had to run into trouble with the very last one. Isn't that always the way? But anyway, I'm just putting on the last signature and then I will be able to add my envelopes. Let's see which way this one goes. Okay. And that's fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, Put these all together with an envelope and uh, then I will add it to a cellophane bag. So um, I believe I have one larger card that I will need a larger envelope. So let me go ahead and grab one and then everything will be spoken for. And I'll uh, let you have a look at the cards, just for kicks and giggles. And then on a different video, maybe we'll put them all away together. Okay, so, oh, that one's dirty. Let's work on cleaning that up some other day. But uh, here's a wedding card that I... Uh, have a video for I believe. I think I like to put them this way so I can see the card when I am going to choose one out of my stash. Very similar card, different background. 
happy wedding day. And then I just put it with an envelope. And last one of the same exact theme, happy wedding day. So I think I'm set for weddings for a little bit. Here's happy birthday. That is, um, you know, a die cut right over an embossed image where I used ink to emboss the image. I used uh, white pigment ink. So that was fun. I think I'm going the other way. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. This one I just made. And I may do um, a video on something like this. Um, of course, it's a, a baby card. And I do need to increase my stash of baby cards. Here's an encouragement card. Wishing you good days ahead. I think there might be something inside. I don't usually do that. But I think on this one I did. And it's a stamped and embossed. Take it one day at a time. Hope you feel better soon. So, um, something a little bit different than the ones we've seen already. I think these all need to be flipped over. Um, same sentiment, different card. Wishing you good days ahead. That is ink blended and stamped over. There is a video for that as well. Um, Here's a variation I did on a card I saw Jennifer McGuire do. I thought it was a cute idea. Of course, I didn't do it exactly the way Jennifer McGuire does it because hers was very complicated. I sort of dumbed it down for myself. If you would like um, a video on that, leave me a comment down below. Here's another variation of the exact same card. Um, so it's a little ink blending over a stamp. And, of course, the cinnamon um, you can peek through in the cutout. Um, here's another simple card that I did. I'm very big on simple. And uh, just some ink blending and then stamp above it. Um, another super simple card. This is a um, a cloud blended background. I don't know if you could see that. It's a little bit subtle. Um, and this is a die surrounding it. And of course, a stamp that's embossed in the center. Um, so I think it makes a lovely card. Super easy. And uh, these I do have a video on as well. This one was um, sort of uh, use what you have. And I believe I was using a Zig um, Clean Color Real Brush. And uh, I pulled it out and I had a lot of fun. So I believe, ironically, I took out the exact correct number of cards, uh, number of envelopes for these cards. That's hilarious. Cause I just pulled some out of the box and this is the, this one I left without, I believe I put it this way, without a sentiment. So it'll go, um, I can either add a sentiment later or, um, you can go in miscellaneous and I could use it just as a note card. But uh, I thought when I made this one, and this one is just uh, watercolor, that I um, I would leave, uh, I do from time to time. I think I showed one other without a sentiment. I think the one with the trees also has no sentiment on it. And it will go in the miscellaneous. Because you can add a sentiment sentiment strip, anything that works, or just use it as a note card. Okay, last leg. Here we go. So these are my, the cellophane bags I like to store my cards in, and I just open it up. Probably seal them when I'm ready to put them away. But, uh, 
this is not a difficult tidy up session. Everything was pretty much almost done, but I really wish I would put away my completed, complete the entire card and put them away when I um, made them. But I let them pile up and then they just clutter up my um, my craft area. And uh, before you know it, this is upside down. Before you know it, um, I have big piles that are just in the way of my crafting. And that is just the last thing I want to have. Um, so I thought I would take a minute, do a little tidy video with you all, see if you guys had something to go ahead and tidy along with me, and, um, we would be able to clear our space together, and I find it, uh, much less tedious if I go ahead and do it with you on my channel. So I hope you're tidying something. And if you are, if you're putting away the, your cards like I am, or if you're um, maybe organizing your stamps or your inks, or maybe you're just swatching, any which way, let me know what you're doing. And uh, if having something on like this in the background helps you get through it, just like it helps me get through it. Um, like I said, I may uh, put them all away in another video, or I may just do that off camera. That's also pretty tedious. Let me know if you want to see it. I do plan to bring some videos on these baby cards, um, mostly because I need baby cards. So uh, gonna do a few more for boys and then a few more for girls. Um, like to have them available in my stash. Sometimes the kids are needing one for friends of theirs or I need uh, some for um, new babies that are coming into my life. Either way, I am low on baby cards and I thought I will get some done and uh, have them ready in my stash. So I don't know about you, I tend to, um, I tend to have always on hand tons of birthday cards and not enough like I was finding I didn't have any wedding cards that's why I made a few and uh, I also realized I didn't have any didn't have any baby cards at all and so I plan to make a few and maybe uh, that will be something. If you're interested, I will do a video on that. So that is it for today. I have been successful in putting, um, getting all of my cards ready to put away into my card stash. Here they are. Whole bunch of cards. Look at that. I'm a super slow crafter, which means I haven't put anything away in a while. And if you're like me, I hope you put your cards away too. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. And I'll say goodbye till next time. Bye-bye, YouTube.